Hello and welcome to Algo Trading Series using ME Broker AFL from Market Secrets. In this episode, we will build a simple triple EMA that is Exponential Moving Average Crossover System. This system is quite popular with the traders who are new to technical analysis. In this triple moving average AFL, buy, sell signals are coded along with scanning and exploration functionality. So before we head into the session, I have one information for you. In addition to this particular series, we are running multiple learning series in parallel in our website www.marketsecrets.in. So you can join and see which e-learning fits for you and you can take up the course completely free of charge. In addition to that, we have multiple data feeds as well. So if you are an active trader, do visit our website. It will give you a lot of additional information that can help you with your day to day trading. So with that note, let's jump into this particular session. So this particular strategy that is triple moving average crossover is a simple trend following system where the system shows buy or sell signals if there is an EMA crossover. So if 3 EMA is greater than 13 EMA, which is greater than 34 EMA, I'm just quoting it as an example, then we will get a buy signal. Likewise, the reverse is true. We will get a sell signal if 3 EMA is less than 13 EMA and 13 EMA is less than 34 EMA. So this is the simple strategy that we are going to code in this particular episode. So this particular strategy, like I mentioned, it's a trend following system. So it works good in a trending market. So when a stock or index is not trending, that, that is when it is going sideways, the moving averages will intermingle and repeatedly crisscross each other, especially during consolidation phase. A trader can take advantage during this phase and can use this indicator to trade the next move or to avoid a necessary trade. However, like any other trend following system, this system has its own disadvantages. EMA generally catches signals very late, some, sometimes at the peak. On a bright side, it could withstand the noise in the sideways market to some extent by avoiding multiple whipsaws compared to double moving average crossover system. Because we are using a triple moving average, it reduces the number of signals, thereby it will avoid the unnecessary whipsaws. So that's the one of the brightest thing about the triple moving average crossover system. So we might get very less number of trade signals when compared to double moving average, but the signal holds a lot of weightage and efficiency of the system is extremely high. So that's the difference between a double crossover system and a triple crossover system. In triple crossover system, you'll get less number of signals, but the signals has a lot of weightage and the efficiency of the system is much higher as well. So with that note, let's jump into the script. So first I'm plotting, you know, this uh, triple moving average here. So I've just, you know, pulled the formula and I've plotted it on a blank chart. So if you look at here, right? So, you know, that is a three moving averages. There's one here and there's another one here and there's another one here. And you'll also be seeing the buy and sell signals, for example, right? So crossover had happened here. So we got a buy signal and the reverse crossover had happened here and we are getting a sell signal. So for example, right uh, here also another crossover had happened and this had, uh, you know, a sell signal. Likewise, uh, you know, um, we got a buy signal here. Like I mentioned, this is a trend following system. So, you know, if the market is trending, right, so we'll get immense profit. For example, right, if you look at here, right, there's a huge rally and, uh, you know, we were able to capture uh, all of it if you are using this particular system. But if uh, market moves sideways, then uh, you will see some whipsaws. So that's uh, kind of very much uh, common. So that's the beauty of this particular uh, system. So now let's jump into the script directly. So going into the script, the first part, it is for plotting your price. So that is something that we uh, generally do, right? So that's the first part of the script. And in the next set of code, we are just plotting the moving averages. So first we are setting up three moving averages and then we are plotting these three moving averages in the charts in three different colors. So this is pretty much self-explanatory. So I'm not going to go into the details. And in the next two set of uh, codes, we are going to generate the buy and sell signal. So this is what we are going to be using to generate the buy and sell signal. So we will buy or we will go long if three point moving average, that is the your three point moving average which is in period one is greater than your 13 point moving average which is in period two and your 34 
uh, exponential moving average which is in period 3 so if 3 EMA is greater than 13 EMA and 13 EMA is greater than 34 EMA we will get a buy signal likewise uh, when it comes to the selling or short side we will sell if 3 EMA is less than 13 EMA and 13 EMA is less than 34 EMA that's it it's very simple and straightforward approach and then and in the next two lines of code we are removing the excess signals and lastly we will be plotting symbols for different trading signals in the chart so we got the up arrow and down arrow right so that's what we are plotting over here so when it comes to the moving averages i am using 3 13 and 34 ema as just as an example you can play around these values if you want for example right i have to pass 3 13 and 34 here but you can pass whatever value that you want to play with so if you want to back test right you can use multiple combinations and uh, look for you know the optimal results so now let's move on to back testing so i'm going to send this to analysis window so in the analysis window i'm going to just perform a back test so let's see how this particular uh, strategy performed uh, uh, over here so if you look at here we got 71000 rupees profit on a 1 lakh rupees capital and um, we ran this on a long side only for 5 minutes.